Hi guys, you are watching Catch Up Plus on a Forward TV where we bring you entertainment, gossip, take a look into the world of sports and tech. I'm La Bevitian. Let's take a look at some of the trending stories. American pastor Dr. Yoni Turbinum is trending online for charging members $1,499 to teach them how to pray. The pastor's price list for the four-week session, which includes a certificate, was passed on in a flyer she shared on her social media page. The federal government says it is proposing legislation to ban the consumption of animal skin locally known as Bomo in the country to revive a tenneries. Mohamed Yakubu, Director General of Nigerian Institute of Letter and Science Technology, said the litigation was necessary to revive the comatose letter industry in the country. He also added that the habit of eating animal skin, which has no nutritional value, should be stopped to save the industry and both the nation's economy. The director general also at the institute uh, in collaboration with stakeholders in the industry will approach the National Assembly and state governments uh, to bring out legislation uh, banning for more consumption. Socialite Babriski is at it again. This time he is advising women to monetize their <laughs> cookies. <laughs> so I'm here to talk to you guys about monetization of your sugar gates girls many of you need to start monetizing your sugar gates yes do you know why because you don't want any types of promise. you don't want any types of promise and feel close to you a uh, Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi has commented on all progressive Congress candidate Bola Tinubu and People's Democratic Party candidate Atiku Abubakar contesting against him in the 2023 presidential election. Now, reacting to the controversy that trailed his disclosure of, of a social media user sending out a message and telling people not to vote for him because it would mean seaports will open in other regions and there would be no investments in Lagos, uh, Obi said that he thought it would uh, thought was to explain why such a message shouldn't be sent out. These are my respected elder brothers, and I respect them. Who is your respected elder brother? Of course, he's another brother of mine. Mm. You know, I respect him for who he is, and they have, even in various times in their life, contributed in their own way. In Nigeria, everybody has contributed one way or the other mm. in the past, and they have to be respected. I recognize in due time, you know, but I'm just trying to explain that, yes, because they've contributed in the past and everything, doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, well, they have to stay forever and forever. No, 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 no. <laughs> A woman took to Facebook to share photos believed to be from a pre-wedding shoot, but what caught the attention was the caption she used. She says she's getting married for money, not for love, because love is for fools. Now, it is not clear if she's joking or not, and she has not shared a follow-up a post to clarify, despite her post getting over 3,000 reactions. Now, her fiancé also shared their pre-wedding uh, video and with the same hashtag, and I suppose that's what you say. That's a match made in money. <laughs> In sports, the French Football Federation have released a statement confirming they would look into the situation surrounding players' image rights after Kylian Mbappe refused uh, to appear in France, uh, France's team photo for 2022 World Cup in Qatar. The statement came after Kylian Mbappe had reportedly refused to take part in the France national team's uh, photo shoot over a long-running dispute with the French Football Federation over image rights. Mbappe led a boycott among French team of certain sponsors back in March as he did not want to be associated with particular brands. Robert Lewandowski 
He has said he believes that he will finally be able to win the Ballon d'Or now that he is with Barcelona. The Polish striker has missed out on the prestigious award. Now, he was clear late February in 2020 before France football made the decision to cancel due to the COVID-19 pandemic and was then piped uh, by Lionel Messi the following year after the Argentina forward won the Copper America. Lewandowski joined Barcelona in the summer and has made a brilliant start as scoring 11 goals in eight games. Speaking over the weekend, a 34-year-old said, I don't expect that back of fans to start singing for me at Camp Nou so quickly. It makes me feel like I've been here for such a long time. Mike Tyson was recently spotted in a wheelchair at an airport in Miami, Florida, which prompted concerns over former weight champion's health. Now, in a recent interview, Tyson revealed that he was in a wheelchair due to issues with his sciatica, a nerve condition that can cause severe pain throughout the back, legs, and buttocks. He added that when it flares up, he can't even talk. The 55-year-old Tyson returned to the boxing ring in 2024 the first time in 17 years uh, to face uh, Roy Jr. in an exhibition bout and sings then Tyson has hinted at further exhibition bouts uh, possibly against former foe Evanda Holyfield. <laughs> Uh, Qatar has faced accusations of underreporting deaths and injuries among uh, migrants, workers, and of not doing enough to alleviate harsh conditions. Unpaid wages have also been frequently raised. Now, human rights groups urge more sponsor of the World Cup in Qatar to support calls for compensation for migrant workers and their families over alleged abuses. Now, four of the 14 FIFA corporate partners and World Cup sponsors, AB InBev, uh, Adidas, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's have stated their support for the financial compensation. Now, the other 10 have not publicly offered support to or responded to the request to discuss tournament-related abuses. All right, guys, that's it for this edition of Catch Up Plus on a Forever TV. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all our social media platforms right there on the screen. And also, if you just want to have a good old time with music, make sure to tune in to Vibes 94.5, your number one music station. I'm Love Evitian.